Yep. All right, good evening. I'm Lieutenant Ray Spencer. I'm the homicide lieutenant with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. I'm out here this evening to brief you on a homicide investigation that we are conducting in the 6200 block of Long Valley Drive, which is a residential neighborhood near the intersection of Jones and Vegas Drive. I stress the details that I'm sharing right now are very, very preliminary, but at around 7.30 tonight, we responded to a house directly behind me on report of a male who had been shot. Medical personnel arrived and pronounced that male deceased. He is described right now as a black male in his mid to mid 20s to early 30s. That's all we know of uh, the victim at this point. What we have been told is that the occupants of the house were home when a group of individuals arrived at the house at around 7.30. That group of individuals entered the house armed with a long rifle, possibly an AK-47. At some point, there was a struggle inside the house and there was either an exchange of gunfire or the resident of the house fired, striking and killing one of the other subjects. Again, we're getting conflicting information as far as to what transpired into the house. There's the possibility that there was a robbery attempt, but we're still trying to validate some of that information. So I urge anybody who has information to reach out to Crime Stoppers. That information is completely anonymous, and you can also reach out to homicide at lvmpd.com. So again, I'll take a couple questions if you have them, but again, it's very early on in this investigation. So is anyone in custody then? If so we do have the homeowner detained. The homeowner is the person who fired, who is admitted to firing the shot that killed the, sus, the subject that's inside the house deceased right now. The, the question is, what led up to the shooting? Again, there's some potential information that there was a possible robbery, but again, we're getting some information that that may not, in fact, be what took place. We do know that a group of individuals arrived. Shortly after those people arrived is when uh, one of them was shot and killed inside the house. So when the man was shot, is he a suspect or was he a suspect? Again, the man who was shot is, at this point, allegedly a suspect of a possible robbery. But again, very uh, conflicting information right now, so it's going to take us several hours to get through all the information and witnesses that are on the scene. Did the homeowner know the person that they shot? Preliminarily, we believe he did. From some of the information that we're getting. How many people were involved? Uh, right now, there's at least uh, five to six people that were involved inside the residence when it uh, took place. And were the individuals who came to the house also armed, or only the homeowner that was armed? We believe the at least one of the individuals who arrived at the house was armed with a long rifle of some sort. Is that still on scene? That long rifle? Right now, we don't believe so. We're in the process of executing a search warrant, so it's going to be several hours before. Uh, we have some of those answers. Right. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Thank you.